hi everyone um so I know I just finished um doing my bir pre birthday haul but there are other things that I also got from my grandmother which are technically for my birthday they're just for me to experiment with <laughs> so I'm going to show you um my the stuff the experimental makeup stuff. I have no idea what I'm going to call this video. But, anyway. So, one of the things that I got from her is the Mega Lash um, Clinical Mascara um, that is what I'm wearing right now, actually. And it kind of works pretty well. Um, the way it works is it also gave me this um, Mega Lash um, Clinical Serum. Um, and you put this on at night. Like, you know those commercials that always like, apply this serum and, this serum and then it'll make your glasses grow longer. Um, this is kind of like it, kind of a knockoff of it. And apparently, grandma's friends are all like swear by this product. They're all like, your lashes are so much fuller. Um, so my lashes, I don't really need them longer. Uh, they're pretty long already. It's like awesome. Um, but my grandma gave it to me, and I decided to try it out. I've been using it for two days now, and it's pretty good. I've been noticing that my lashes look um, browner than they usually they look thicker. Um, but you know, it's only today. So, first, I put on the clinical serum on over lashes and bottom, you know, for experimental purposes. I think I'm going to stop putting it on bottom because they were super fast on the bottom. And, like, my lashes are like impossibly long on the bottom now. And then in the morning, you put on this mascara. And they had this weird looking wand, um, which I don't really like. It kind of gets gunk um, on my eyelids. So I'm gonna, if when I use this, I'm gonna put on my uh, eyeshadow after. Um, but this, um, I put on in the morning, and it's actually very good. One, you get over the fact that it puts some clumps on your uh, lid. So that those are two things, two experimental makeup things that I got from my grandma. And then I got um this. The Wizard Windsor Body Dusting Powder with Puff. Um, and it's in Lily of the Valley. I don't know what Lilies of the Valley smell like, but apparently this smells like them. And I have to say, I don't really like this scent. I don't know why. Kind of smells like an old lady's scent. But. I'll use it anyway. And if people start to notice that I smell like an old lady, I'll stop using it and give it to my mom. <laughs> but, um, I like this. Well, it's useful to have a body dusting powder. I mean, I guess. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, that, that's another thing that I got. For experimental purposes. <laughs> And then I got the Ziploc Ziploc bag full of stuff. Completely awesome. First thing I got, which I'm really excited about, is from my grandmother's boutique. So you won't be able to get this exact thing. It has this mirror. Um, it's this. Um, the mosaic washing powder. Um, and it is really pretty and it has all sorts of reds and oranges and stuff in it and I used it yesterday 
and it is gorgeous. It really looks good. Like awesome. Really illuminates everything. And then this other thing. This is called Blush On. And I'm not sure about this color. It's a little dark. This is a brown color. I'm just trying to light on. You can't really see. This brown color. Um, and I might just use, you know, a little thing, thing on the apples of my cheeks or to do contours of my cheekbone. Um, I don't know how I'm going to use that. But my grandmother mentioned that my mom wanted that, so, yeah. And this other thing that I'm super excited about, it, that came from my grandmother's boutique, too. Um, this is, um, from L'Oreal Paris. It's the Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner. Last 16 hours. Um, in brown. And I haven't used it yet, actually. Because I'm a little scared. <laughs> but it is really awesome. It's a pencil eyeliner. I'm really excited, like, super excited about that. This next thing is um, this powder eyeshadow, which I've never used. Uh, I think they is from my grandmother's boutique, too. It's called Rose Gold, and it's this really pretty pink. And it looks like that. So, I haven't used it. I've never used any powder eyeshadow before. So, I'm curious to see how it'll turn out. I'm very curious. And then, this I've used already is this Smooth Shaper Lip Liner in Rosebud 3. And, this might be for my grandmother's protein too. Um, it comes in this red. And I used it yesterday. And it looks awesome. Like, really, I've never been one to use lip liner, but ever since I got this, I've been using it on my upper lip because my lower lip, I don't need to use it. For my upper lip, it's getting kind of thin lately, so I've been using that to kind of, um, <laughs> kind of, um, accentuate the lip. This next thing I've already used, too comes in this really cool pencil looking thing pen looking thing and take this off and this is a lip brush you have lipstick um, on a little palette and then you just brush it on like that I've already used it yesterday actually and it works exceptionally well it really has even coverage to everything and it's really precise I love it Next thing I haven't used is brand new it's from my grandmother's boutique. Um, it's the lip gloss. Oh, it's called Pale Petal. Mm. It's this pretty pink. I really love it. It's a hot pink. So I'm really excited about that. Um, especially the eyeliner because whenever I watch Juicy Star 07 I'm all like when she puts on the eyeliner I'm like just sitting there watching her and I'm like oh I wish I had eyeliner but now I do it's awesome and then I got a palette from her boutique it's from the um your name spring summer 2006 look and I've already used up one eyeshadow in a week no in a month in a month I don't know why I said a week um, and it was the sheer satin shadow bashful it was a pale pink I really liked it it was like that one um, and then okay so here this is a triple split shadow in Nantucket that 
Oops. Let me take this off. That right there. It's the pale lavender and then the white and then the dark purple. Um, I haven't used that yet, but I have been having ideas on how to use it. And then there's the cream wear blush in baby cakes. It's that. A really, it's, it's, um, it's like a light brown, pink-ish sort of color. So, and then this next one is a sheer satin blush in Whisper Sherber. It's a light brown, so I might use that. And then there's this uh, micro bubble lipstick in Micro Limor. And I used that lipstick yesterday. This and it is really super pretty. It came out redder than I expected it to be. And then this other lipstick is really red. It's Luxury Lipstick in Paris. See? It's really red. I haven't used it. And then there's this eyeshadow called Polychromatic Shadow in Skyline. I absolutely love these names. So it's that really shimmery blue shadow. And then there's the sheer matte shadow in cashmere pink. So that's a very interesting pink to me. I've never seen a pink like that. But it's pretty. And then there's the really excited about this. The mineral shadow in gold minx. I only have one other gold shadow and it's running now. So I was really excited to have another shade of gold. And then there's the sheer satin pattern cafe couture. I have a uh, shadow similar to that, but it's slightly browner, and this is more like a um, what's the color? Champagne color than the other one. And then this other shadow, uh, this dimensional shadow in island blue is one of my favorites next to the gold one on it and then the other favorite is the mineral shadow shadow in opal it's really gorgeous it's a really really white shadow so yeah that is shadow palette that I got and then the last experimental thing I got from my grandmother, I believe the last experimental thing, if my memory doesn't prove faulty, um, is this. And I've already used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven things in here, all of them my shadow. I used the sheer matte shadow in sky sheer. Um, and I used a sheer mask shadow in sea foam sheer too. The sky sheer, it was like the precise color of the sky. It was very precise. Like when it's clear and there are no clouds in the sky, it's just a perfect blue. And then the sea foam sheer is if you picture the ocean where there's a lot of algae in it. Like have you if you swim out there, you're going underwater, or if you see movies when there's algae everywhere and or seaweed everywhere and you go under the water it's kind of a greenish tint it's a really gorgeous green and then there's this sugar plum sheer and then the lemon sheer a really gorgeous yellow and then atlantis that's my favorite out of all of this so far um, besides the one I only used, that is my favorite. And then there's pistachio. It's an interesting choice of name, definitely. <laughs> and then the other two here that I used, meadow, really light green, and a canyon, which was a gorgeous russet red. And then this gilded olive, which kind of looks like a gold. Like really shimmery, and then there's the um, luminized shadow, and then there's celestial blue, which was like oh, the luminized. I really like that. It's my other favorite. See, 
that one. It's a really, really pretty color. Anyway, so the Celestial Blue. I don't really know how to describe that. It was like a really rich blue. It wasn't dark. It wasn't light. It was kind of in between. Kind of like the blue of Paul McCartney's face. <laughs> uh, but slightly darker and more rich. You know what I mean? But anyway, and then the next one is Luminous Lilac, which was my favorite out of all of the ones that I used, already used up. Um, it was gorgeous lilac. It was, oh, I don't know how to describe it. And then this next one is Serene. It is a gorgeous pink. And then there's Sunlit. This is kind of a shimmery, orangey, brownish, kind of. And then this other blush, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this much, kind of like the other one that I showed you, is called the Sheer Mocha Blush. You have definite confirmation that Andre is coming with us tomorrow, correct? We have to call her, and she says she's coming. I did try calling her and left her a message, but she okay. is coming, correct? Right, she said so. Alright, because I'm a little worried about printing the ticket before... Okay. I talked to her mother. Okay. Okay, finish this and then. How's your slow? That was my mommy. Anyway, so it's the sheer mocha blush and it's really very dark. It's darker than the other one. So maybe when Sammy comes over, sometimes she'll use that. Because it's definitely great for her skin tone. I can just imagine her wearing that shadow. It's like really awesome on her. And then there's then there's the uh, triple split shadow, which was Utopia. It was um a very pale yellow as the big one, and then the smaller one was a very bright white, and the other one was kind of a gold. So I loved that. That was amazing. Um, wait. No, if I remember correctly, the white wasn't a very bright white. It was very bright, but it had little, little pink undertones to it, which was gorgeous. And then this other triple split shadow, which I've already used um, yesterday, is called Ritz. And the way I used it, I used the the biggest color on my lid, and then the darker color in my crease, and the lighter one, like on my crease and a little bit on my brown brown it's really pretty and then there's this other blush the pinkest ever is um transparent pink it is a gorgeous 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 pink it's like a hot pink almost no it really isn't bubble gum and then there's restless which is a really like coral pink shadow and i really love it so anyway, that's it. And sorry about the long interruption from my mother. Um, I love her. Uh, so yeah, there's all the experimental things that my grandmother gave me. And I hope you enjoy. Bye.